my name's Jason and Steve with Protective Dad Pranks. Today is the inaugural Corvette coffee and installs in Steve's newly remodeled garage, newly redesigned. Look at it, it looks fantastic. If you like Corvette content, if you like funny videos, definitely subscribe to both of our channels. But in today's video, we're gonna talk about something and we're gonna do an install that Justin from Horsepower Obsessed, a very good friend of both of ours, uh, had recommended to us. We are going to change the clutch fluid in my car. Steve did his a couple of weeks ago. It's something you need to do on a regular basis. His car only had about six, uh, 4,000 miles on it and he changed out the clutch fluid and it was disgusting. It looked like turkey grease. <laughs> that was bad. That's I bet you when we open yours up, it's, it's going to be shot. I got 6,000, so it's, it's probably not going to look good. So anyway, we're going to do that today. So sit back and enjoy everything we do. Have a great day. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cover the car, this area, with a towel to prevent any of the brake fluid from getting onto the car because it's very corrosive and you definitely do not want that on your paint. The next thing you're going to need is DOT4 synthetic brake fluid. And the third thing you're going to need is a plunger. And we will link the, in the description both of these products from Amazon. So the next step in the process is to drain the clutch fluid from here into this water bottle. Now it's not a hard process, but you're gonna probably have to do it anywhere from six to 10 times to get it thoroughly clean. Man, look at that, look how yeah. bad that is. Yeah. See what, see and that's the whole reason for the towel right here. And this is why you have a towel so you just like let that sit there. Exactly. And then the next step is you're gonna put the towel in there to get all of the fluid out, yeah. absorb it all up, clean it out. Definitely use a shop towel so they're like more lint free. Yes. Get that all out there and you know, look at look down in there, see how you can see it. I don't know if you can I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up, but it is yeah, there you go. All dry and clean in there. So now what we're going to do is put the synthetic brake fluid into a cup. Look at the difference. Look how clean and clear that is versus this. Yeah. Has Looks it. like Coca-Cola versus beer. So now it's all full. Oh, look, look how, just pouring that in there, look how dirty that still is. Yeah, it is. It's still pretty dirty. Even though you put a clean... Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, it's we'll, still murky, so but check this out. So we just did this. So let's go on to the next step to see what it looks like. Let's do it. Okay, the next step you want to do is you want to make sure you put this cap back on. Get nice and tight, and then you're going to cycle the fluid through. And by how you do that is you're going to have to pump that clutch 30 times, Jason. Start pumping it. 30? I don't know if I count that high. Yes. One, two, three. And you pump like an old four, person. Get pumping. Five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 50. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take the cap off and see what it looks. Oh my gosh, look how murky it got in just a very short period of time. Can you see that? That was after 30 pumps, cycling it back through. Yuck. All right, so we're gonna drain this again into this container and then we will refill it and we'll do the process one more time. So we drained it six times and this is the final outcome. If you can see how clear that is, it looks tremendously better. So uh, I would say perfect. So that is going to do it for changing the clutch fluid. So we will take it out and go for a drive. All 
Okay, this stuff is easy. It's Griot's Garage Black Shine High Gloss Tire Gel. And I love this stuff. All you just take is an applicator sponge, put some on, and I just put this on. And especially, you know those applicator sponge? I'll use one sponge probably like one, probably every two or three months. But look at that already. And what I like to do on, especially on the Corvette, it's got that little, what I love about these sponges, once I get this yeah. in this applicator, I'll take the little tip and I'll get right in here in this groove and I'll go all the way around. And you put it on there. It's, I mean, it's so easy, it's so quick. Look at that. And it doesn't get on the wheel. Like I'm not even touching the wheel. Yeah, and I like that it doesn't splash off on the side. Oh my gosh, this stuff's amazing. And this, and it doesn't take much. Hey, this is a brand new sponge. Once you use a sponge, like I'll my, here's a here's a pro tip, I guess. Take this spo uh, sponge, put it in a four x four Ziploc bag, and just store it. And yeah. and what I love about it, after you get it on there and you have it in your actual your wheel for a while or your tire for a while in this bag, this stuff actually uh, you use less product. Right. But I mean, yeah. So now the the key to this, get for about to get that really good shine. Let it set for about ten to fifteen minutes. So let's go back, just check back with this about 10, 15 minutes to show what it looks like. Let's do it. All right guys, so we've let the tire set for about 10 minutes while I wipe my car down a little bit more. Let's take a look at it. Can you see the shine on here? I'm hoping this camera picks it up and does it justice, but it is nice and shiny. So you can really see it right there because of the way the light is reflecting, but it looks incredible compared to how dull this other stuff is that I use on my tires. I won't give you the name, but we'll just say it's not fantastic. And when, the longer you use it, I'm sure it sets up even better. I don't know if you can see the shine on Steve's car. Look at that. Looks excellent. So anyway, I highly recommend Griot's Black Shine. Definitely check them out. Hey guys, that's gonna do it for today's video and I wanna give a big thanks to Steve from Protective Dad Pranks for helping me with this clutch fluid change. And for you guys with the autos, eh, this may not be uh, something you'd wanna do very often or ever, but hey, you know, real men, they drive manuals. Real so. men drive manuals. <laughs> hey, I, I, I can, I, you know, hey listen, I had an auto prior to this, so you know, it's all good. They say theirs is faster, I say ours is more fun, oh. but whatever the case. I want to say thank you guys for watching and again, follow Steve on Instagram at Protective Dad Pranks and also YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. Mine is Front Seat Driver. Thanks you guys for watching. Peace.